Welcome all to another edition of RGN Quick Play. Today we're going to showcase a new graphical text adventure game developed by Stefan Vogt of Puddlesoft, titled The Curse of Ravenstein, for the Commodore Amiga and Commodore 64. By the way, the background music you are hearing is not part of the game as The Curse of Ravenstein has no sound. The story to this adventure is set in 1862. You play the role of a traveller returning from Zurich. While taking the exhausting return trip across the Rhine, your carriage suddenly stops in the middle of nowhere and you find out that your coachman has lost his way. While he takes some time to find his bearings, you decide to take a stroll around the forest, but an unnatural encounter sends you in a panic running back to your coach. It might be best if you find a place to settle in for a night. If you are like me and haven't had much success with the text adventure genre in the past, then The Curse of Ravenstein does its best to make things as easy as possible for you with the use of two word parser logic that only uses five letter abbreviations. So for example, if I want to talk to the coachman, I simply need to type talk coach. Typing in I allows me to see what is in my inventory and typing in L will allow me to bring up the environment description again. Okay, well our only way forward from here is north, so I'll type in N and get going towards the village. The game world within the Curse of Rebenstein is not large, so there's no need to keep a map to track your location. The game is quite linear and provides plenty of subtle hints to guide you along the right track and avoid you wasting a lot of time along the wrong path. The inclusion of graphics to this text adventure is quite effective when it comes to attracting newcomers to the genre. Every location is accompanied by an attractive and well-drawn image of the environment in front of you. Naturally, the Amiga graphics will be more vibrant and detailed than the Commodore 64 version, and ultimately it did draw me to spend more time with the Amiga version. The story narrative takes us into the nearby village of Ravenstein and as we explore locations such as graveyard, a church and the local inn, we come across the helpful locals who are happy to engage with you and help make sure that our horses are safe. As we go back to where our coach and horses were, we find that the coachman has disappeared, and there are signs of a skirmish taking place here. By the time we get around to speaking with the resident priest, you get a strong sense that all is not right with the town, especially when you investigate the distant screams from your coachman. It's not until you do get a good night rest that you start to realise exactly what is going on, and that all is not as it appeared from the previous night. We find out that the whole village was murdered back in 1798. Well, if the village has been deserted for the past 64 years, who on earth was I speaking to last night? Hmm, this is the same priest I was talking to last night. What exactly is going on here? And who killed all the people? Well, I'll leave that for you to find out for yourself. Stefan's storytelling is easy to follow and quite engaging as you unravel the mystery ahead of you. Those experienced with text adventures will have no problem completing the Curse of Ramstein, and perhaps will be disappointed with how easy it is to complete. The rest of us will love the game for not making the puzzles too cryptic, not allowing our character to die, and for giving us a sense of how enjoyable adventure games can be. Playing through the game myself, I would have to say that there were only three spots where I had to resort to randomly putting verbs and nouns together in order to resolve a puzzle, and I was able to see the story through to its conclusion. If The Curse of Ravenstein does not get you into appreciating text adventure games, then nothing ever will. You can grab a digital copy of the game from Stefan's itch.io page, or if you want a physical copy, then head on over to Polyplay's website. Until next time, bye for now.